Hello, NoobTubers! And today, I will be checking out Block Front. So, we're just gonna wait on this to load. Yeah, also, this is a large mod. It's 300,000 um, kilobytes. I think gigabyte. I think it's kilobytes. Yeah, there we go. It's going to be slow for just a second, but this will not last long. Yeah, this is part of the mod. Um, a plane that you cannot fly. So as you can see, I modified a village ever so slightly. You know, just adding barbed wire, barricades, and targets. Ammo, you know, the works. Yeah, this is a Soviet village. I am not Russian, as you can tell by my accent. Yep, bullet holes. Yeah, so this is a desk. None of the, the phone doesn't work. You can't actually look through the papers or turn on the desk light. But the radio does have static. I mean, that's better than nothing. Why are y'all kissing? Ooh, get out of my... No, I'm getting out of my office. Okay. You have, like, an oil drum, tank ammo... Again, you can't use any of this, which is unfortunate. So, let's get on to what we've all been looking forward to, and that is the guns. Okay, I'm going to be using... Oh, I like how it names it. So yeah, when you get it, it's going to actually name it. I'm going to get a 1910. I'm going to get a Beretta. The Beretta is my favorite on here. The Colt 911. I like American guns, but I also like the Beretta. Okay. This is the Tokarev. The Nambu. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, but I don't care. The Walther. The Luger. I mean, you have to have a Luger. And then the... Wait, Nambu? That looks... Okay. Now this... There's a, there's a revolver on here that's actually quite cool. I'm actually missing the revolver. Okay. So this is the FN model 1910. So let's give it a try. As you can see, shoots great. I'm gonna reload by hitting R. Hey dude, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, it takes three shots to kill a villager with some of these handguns. So let's go to the Beretta, my favorite on here. Okay, you can reload that, but I don't want to. Now, here's the Colt 1911. I think it actually does have seven shots in it, like it originally did. So, let's count one uh, after I load it. Okay, there we go. I was having fun with it the other day. Okay, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. There we go. It is actually accurate. And you do not walk in front of people when you're shooting, villager. You're going to get shot. Okay, let's go to this one. This one's weak. I hate it. It's also out of ammunition, so... Okay, we're going to go to the Tokarev. I actually um saw some of these being sold on a gun website. And I was so tempted to buy one. I mean, it was only 200 bucks. It was so good. I think this one holds 12. So this one's also really cool. This one and the Beretta, I believe, are my favorite. Okay, this is the FB... FB this. Okay. You can also zoom in by just right-clicking. This one holds eight rounds, I believe. The Walther. This is cool. Okay. The Luger. Oh, you have to love the Luger. Holds eight shots. And the Nembu. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Only eight. And now we have actually three more handguns to try out. Because, like a noob, I threw one of my pistols the other day. Um, I was actually using it to fight with and decided that I was going to toss it for whatever reason. Okay, 
Thankfully, I know which one it is, because it's actually a huge, hunking revolver. Like that? Okay. This one may be the weak one, but I like it. The... It's the Glacenti. I believe it's Italian. Sounds Italian. Okay, seven. This one only holds six shots along with the other one because it's a revolver. Okay. Let's, let's zoom in right here. And guys, the guns do do a varying amount of damage. Like this one, as you can see, it's a little bit larger in my hand than this one. Or Yeah, it's pretty big for a revolver. It's like 26 revolver. Okay. One. Yep. I'm going to reload this, and then I'm going to reload this one right here. Yeah, watch this one be OP as well. Okay, I'm going to go shoot a villager that is not currently in my village. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, but you're going to be a test dummy. Oh, and the blood animation is wonderful on here. Look, if you're a parent and have kids and you don't want blood in Minecraft, do not get this mod, okay? But if you're like me and you don't care, okay. One, two, three, four. It took twice the firepower to kill that villager with this gun using nothing but headshots. So there is definitely some damage to account for. Four. That's why I love this revolver right here. I know it only holds six shots, but if you consider two shots per mob, unless they're wearing armor, this can kill three mobs. My other ones can't even kill but like two and injure another one. Okay, so that's all the handguns for you, which are quite honestly amazing. Like, you will be hard pressed to find a mob. Not a mob, a mod that has so many handguns. I mean, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I mean, twelve guns. Just twelve handguns alone. And guys, look, snipers, these are one shot kills with some mobs. So we're gonna come over to this, I think it's an office space of mine actually. We're going to right click and fire. And then we're going to. Un, you know, right click again to, you know, get out of the scope. I will say these do not have, as you can see, crosshairs because they're not made to be shot. Um, just, you, you can't just no scope. And guys, this scope is very movable. Like, um, it doesn't take much movement at all. So this is very precise. But if you're on a shaky surface, you probably don't want to use this. Fire. And these are all one hit kills, which is amazing. Um, unless the mob has armor, you should kill it. Okay. And I'm not even going to bother reading out the names. Wait, did I miscalculate? Oh, I didn't have that many guns to fire. Okay. Well, that is it for the sniper rifles. So let's go to the normal guns. This is the M1 Garand. This is the Thompson submachine gun, grease gun, BAR, Springfield, brown. Ooh, that's a classic. Carbine. They were actually selling some of these on a gun website I saw. I'm not going to bother with the bazooka. The Mauser. Okay. I'm just going to come down here. Your character will move a bit slower. Since you're using a gun, like, as you can see, I'm not sprinting as I, like, I can sprint pretty normally with this. No? Yeah, even that's still hard, but yeah. Here's the M1 Grand. You can zoom in with this. These are about two-shot mob kills. Okay. Thompson submachine gun. And there is overheating animation. Which is really cool. This is the grease gun. Get out of my way. Ooh, there's blood. I drew blood. Okay. The grease gun is a classic. Cheaply made like the... Uh, what is it? The Sten? But still really cool. And this one is the... B-A-R? Okay. Okay. 
cool. This is the Browning 30 Cal. Oh, hi. Oh my word. I That's just keeps going. Oh my goodness, my gun probably fried. You can reload it, but I'm not going to bother. So, here's in one card. Okay. Just in case you're wondering, um, that was not automatic. Okay. These are technically handguns, but... Oh, well, I forgot them. Actually, I think I was confused because I didn't think they were handguns because of how they loaded. Okay. We're just going to systematically go through all of these guns. Guys, I wish I could just have, like, all these guns just neatly laid out and everything, but nah. Nah, we're just... We're just going to put them straight in and test them out. Ooh, the STG-44, that was, like the one that, that was like the first modern machine gun. That's so cool. Okay, I'm not going to check out that. The Gewehr. And the, what is that? The Bliskwika? The Bliskwik? What is that? What the heck is that name? And that. I haven't even shot all of these rifles. But we're going to start with the car. I think this is a Russian rifle? It's bolt action, so I think it's Russian. I think it holds six shots, maybe. This is an MP40. Here we go. I just slaughtered a ton of villagers. Yeah, this was one of the first machine guns ever made. Modern machine guns made by the Germans. Aww. Really cool. Made out of stamped sheet metal and some metal. It Some metal. Some wood. What is this? Is this a... Oh, yeah. This is another belt-fed machine gun. That's cool. Okay. Is this an automatic rifle? Well, for the short period of time, it was active. <laughs> Guys, when you stop moving forward on this game, your guns do become more inaccurate. Ooh, this is cool. Yeah, this is one of those funky looking ones. I think there was an animation like where you could like or something where you could set the gun down, but I haven't seemed to be able to get that to work, so. Guys, that's a beast. I was having to struggle to keep it in place. Okay. This is no captain. Okay. Well, we are done with that, so I will put all of these guns up except for the last one so that I can keep up with where I left off. Okay. Let me see. The Mosin. Oi, the moles, and I'm a moles in around. Okay. I'm gonna stop that now. Okay. Nope. Ooh, another machine gun. Another rifle. PPS 43. Classic. Let's go to this. The Tukarev. And this. Ooh, cool. A top, uh, a bottom down feeding, um, Mag a top feeding magazine. That's cool, guys. This oh, that's not the Sten. Never mind. I think this is an Italian. Right? No, maybe maybe it's Russian or Italian. I forget. But it's still really cool. Like seriously, magazines that feed from the side are pretty cool looking. Like you can't deny that. Like, impractical? Yes. Cool. Yes. That's a machine gun. You know it works. I'm not gonna sit there and run it dry. The Molson, Molson, Bolt Action, Now if to disadvantage your friends in a firefight, give them this, which holds like what, five shots? Okay, PPS 40. There we go. 
Guys, my volume may be a bit off, but oh well. It's fine. PPSH. Guys, this shoots pretty fast. This may be a good one to take. Okay. Um, the PTR is 41. Wait, what? Okay, it's just like. Why was I thinking it was like automatic? Oh well. Okay. Let's go to this. Here we go. <laughs> it still went through. Okay, this is a, a, a small automatic rifle for um, APT-40. Okay, this would be cool. Still cool. Man, these, these are some good guns. And these are all classics. Like, seriously, whoever made this mod, um, maybe I should include their name. I probably will. I may. I don't know. Okay, we're getting in. There's certainly a plethora of rifles to use. Oh my goodness, you could like have gun control in your country and you could just say, you can only own five shot rifles. <laughs> you could totally make a, a massively expansive gun store. Oh my. Here's another machine gun. Okay, we're gonna go to this right out here. What is it, first of all? I need it. The Arasaka? I don't know who used this rifle. Okay. The Arasaka Type 99? Maybe this was used in the middle of these. Okay. Type 4? Is this the same one? Did they just not add Arasaka? Okay, they had like 10 shots in it. Okay, I think this one's fully automatic. That's slow. That's slow. Okay. This is another belt-fed one, so I will not spend much time with it. Type, ooh, I think this is the Russian, or this is the Italian one, I think. Look at that, look at that magazine, it's like way up there, you have like no barrel length to it whatsoever. <laughs> hey, it fires well. Lee Enfield MK1, this one's a classic. Anything Enfield. Six. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the Bren MK1. Okay, guys, if you can see a magazine on it, then it has limited ammo. Of course, not the bolt action rifles, even though you, you actually cannot see their magazine. Okay. So now, oh, heavy machine gun. The Vickers K. Anti. T eh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Lee Enfield, that one's even more classic, I think. The Sten MK2! Oh! M what is this, the Make 2? I thought the, the Make 2 had a wooden stock on it. Oh well, guys, I know very little about all these firearms. All I know is that they are fun to shoot. And we can't deny that. Like, this is... I know none of these guns are modern, but does it really matter if you're shooting an AR or you're shooting a Bliskawika or a Bliskawika? Does it really matter? I mean, <laughs> a gun mod is a gun mod, and it shoots, and pretty accurately, too. That was one thing great about this. You know, it was... I skipped one. Oh no, the Vickers K. This one's also, I believe, from the UK. I think that's one of these other unlimited ones that has an odd drum magazine at the top. 
This is classic. This is what we what the British armed a lot of their men with. While we had like the grease gun in the tops, and especially the grease gun for mass armament, they had the stem. There we go. This is the Carcano. I believe this is Italian. What is it? Um, Corcano? Carcano. This is the Carcano. This is definitely, um, Spanish? I think it's Spanish. Yeah, but it's only Spanish to be using both. Yeah, six shots. Again, six shots. The Breda. The Breda M1935PG. Fed, magazine fed, sorry. Wow, that's cool. Okay, that's actually a cool gun. Okay, this is the... Here we go. The MAB Mod 38. That's cool. The Breda M1930. Look at that magazine. That's like a 20, maybe 30 round magazine? Stop coming by me! Guys! The Trombacano. The Tromboncino? Trombacano? These bolt actions are pretty fun to shoot. I mean, I wouldn't use them in an actual battle because. I mean, we have AR-15s now, and literally any other gun on here that's automatic would look great. Okay, we have the Granada Launch... <laughs> Granada Launcher! Wait, does that have a grenade launcher on it? Okay, and then we have a shotgun and item BF gun, um, a fire Ravelli. Guys, you're not going to see this fire, but just know that it is a gun, and that it is there. Okay. This is the trench gun. Five. Does it only have five? Yeah, so it does spread, which is nice. Okay, so it doesn't shoot, it just fires a grenade. Aw, oh. oh, that's cool. It actually shot a decent ways. Okay, oh, we still have this to shoot. Oh my goodness, look, I can just shoot a block like a weirdo. You know what? I'm pretty sure that you are an amazing gun, but I didn't get to see you, so you're going to get the lowest rating so far. Okay, and then we have this, which is a big ol' hunking... That's like a Roman short sword that I'm holding in my hand. Ah, a gladiator. Okay, let's... Oh, come here, villagers. Oh, come here. Well, that wasn't very fun. But, oh well, you saw it work, you know. All the weapons on here work, at least. Okay, now we're going to check out the acid ball and some grenades. But first... <laughs> That's literally what it does. Look at this. It just makes a sticky mess. It doesn't even... It just does that. I mean, it doesn't even hurt to walk in it. As you can see, villagers have been walking in it. That's what it does. But... Okay, guys, this is the monkey bomb. I... I have to look at this. And this is an actual bomb. The bombs don't actually destroy blocks.
Ah. Wait, where did I put it? <sighs> That's not what I wanted to do. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. Ooh! Guys, this will detonate in a few minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Okay, let's get some grenades right here. Because I want to be cruel and unusual. Ah, my goodness! Yep, it works. <laughs> yeah, it works. And there's even some ringing. <laughs> what? How? How? What? How are they just fine? You know, flash you. Or flash me. Okay, there we go. This decoy grenade? What? Uh. Ooh! That's cool! That's really cool! It works exactly the same way, but in German. German smoke for you. Fire! Ooh! Come here, little villager. I'm gonna fire you. What? Oh, it did kill one. Ah ha ha ha! I got you. Okay. Fire frag grenade. Oh, you did kill me. Did I kill him? Did I kill him? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, he's okay. I didn't want to kill him. Well, I did, but oh well. Another frag. Okay, if you so if you left click it, it just kind of drops. So if you right click it, it drops. If you if you left click it, it drops. Okay, this is the smoke grenade. There we go. There's- I'm not really fascinated with the smoke grenades, to be honest. But they are kind of cool. You can make the room a bit smoky. Smoke candle? Is that really- You had to have a smoke candle? Okay, this is just a frag grenade. Bang. It can kill people around it, you know, pretty easily. Okay. This is a frag grenade, too. What is these, like, American? Whoa. American and, like, British or something? Smoke candle? What the Why is this so important? Like, as opposed to... As you can see, it is still here, which is kind of cool. You know, like, the item stays and dispenses. Really cool animations. And the still hand grenade. Okay, guys, if you're German on here and I mispronounced all of that, I'm sorry to have offended you, but... No. Nah. Rip. Okay. You have this. I don't know what that does. Exactly, because I'm not, like, in the middle of the game. So, I'm gonna check out the Bazooka. The Panzer Shrek. The Pan Ooh, the Panzer Shrek. I love that in... Um, Robux D-Day, that's a good one. Okay, the Panzerfaust. Faust? Panzerfaust? Panzerfaust? Am I trying too hard to pronounce it? I don't know. Am I? Okay. The Pyatt Anti-Tank Gun. I don't know who designed that. Okay. That's cool. Okay. 
That's cool. Pound Cool. Yeah, it destroys. Watch this. Ah. Hey, creeper. What? How? I can one shot the wither with like a sniper or something. Come here, little villagers. I'm sorry, I need to test something out. There you go. Um, did they just. Did I blow the doors open? Oh well, I guess I did. So, my villagers have officially been terrorized, but I will show you what the command radio does. Um, I don't know why it's smoking. But you can apparently order all of this in. Oh my goodness, I have a plane over here. I'm hoping that it didn't just take off to, like, <laughs> destroy the village. Guys, this doesn't really work. Um, the medical syringe? Uh, yeah, it doesn't work. I've tried healing people with it. I just end up hitting them with it. But here are some of the other cool items. I will get a flag. A French flag. Um... The German flag, they do not have the Nazi flag on here. So you don't have to worry about your kids. Japanese Sunwall, Japan. Why do you need both? Polish flag? The Soviet flag? Uh, the Italian flag. Eh. The French flag. Eh. And the American flag right here. I'm going to put all these flags up. Right, one, three, one. Seven. Uh, I don't have enough room right there. I'm going to go to a bigger build. I'm going to go to my church right here. And I'm going to put them all up inside of it. Okay. Uh, okay, let's put this on a wall. Okay. First off, position of honor will go to the left. As you can see, it is a beautiful American flag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight stripes. Uh, oh well. Okay. French flag. French French flag. There we go. The German flag. The Japanese flag. They love Japan so much. They made it twice. You get the rising sun. You get the Polish flag. The Soviet flag. The USSR. The Italian flag. And the oh the Netherlands. And there's space for a lonely flag. This is kind of cool. I kind of like a world, like, flags of the world represented in this church. But it would literally just be the um, countries that were at war with each other. Okay, I will look at the radios. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I am aware that it's, that it's a really, really long video. But you know what? This was a really, really big mod. 300,000 kilobytes. That's a lot of space on your computer for a mod. My Immersive Portals mod only takes up 990. Yes, it's not even a full thousand, just 990. So, you know, take that for what you will. So, if you have a slow computer like a friend of mine has, do not, by any means, get this mod. Please don't. I don't want to crash your computer. I don't want you to get mad at me in the comment section, say, Hey, I downloaded this mod and it gave my computer cancer. You know what? I'm sorry. I told you not to get the mod, but you did because you were a noob. Then again, you're watching NoobTube, so I would expect most of the people on here to be a noob. Thank you for watching. God bless you and stay newbie. Also, get this mod if you can. It's really cool and America!